Hey guys, uh, my name is Arjun. Uh, today we are going to talk about sheet swapping uh, using uh, multiple parameters. So, and also we are going to talk about in a one chart how to change dynamically uh, multiple measures and measure names uh, in a one chart. So, let's uh, look into our final visualization and how it is working and uh, using the different two parameters here. So here I have given the bar chart, uh, this one, and there are two parameters you can see. One is chart and one is measures. So chart where you can select bar and trend, that's a type of chart, and measures where you can change the uh, measures, that is sales and profit. So let's say this is bar. So I want, if I click on the profit, so the, uh, the bar is changed to a measure value that is uh, nothing but a profit. Suppose if I change to trend here, so now it is trend and profit. If I want to change it to sales, I can do that. So let's uh, move into our how from uh, beginning. So how to do this? So so I'll go to new worksheet, and uh, here let me take uh, let me do a, a bar graph here. So. Taking a regions and uh, sales. So region level sales. Let's swap. This. Okay. So I want this way in this uh, vertical. So entire view. Fine. So I'll hide this labels and uh, let me do a formatting things. So lines, grid lines. Uh, that is actually horizontal lines, right? So let's do rows. I like remove the rows fine and um, if axis rulers let's give a light color for this axle rulers and that is on a rows and let's do the same thing in a columns as well okay fine so now now what we are going to do is uh, so we are taking the sales here so what we saw in the final uh, that uh, the output is like we need sales and profit in a one shot right so for that, what we need to create is now we need to create a parameters. So here, if you go in images here, let's say create parameters and I'll take this as measures and let the title be measures. And let's take a list and convert this into strings. And one is sales and another one is profit. Okay, fine. So now, okay, let's create. Okay, fine. We have created a measures uh, parameters. Now, uh, to control this, uh, to give a, a values like uh, to control the sales and profit, we need to create a calculated field. So let's take one calculated field. Create a calculated field. Type it as measures dot cal cal name it as dot cal its calculations and uh, what i'm going to write here is case case measures if measures when sales then i should get when sales that is a text in a string so double quote sales then sales when profit then profit okay and then end so calculation is valid fine all right so now uh, i'll drag the measure calculation instead of the sum i'll drag on top of this okay and uh, i'll remove the parameter measures right side show parameter control that is in the right side corner so okay if i change to profit yes it's changing right okay so now um, let put take it in a like stacked bar instead of bar graph so we'll drag one more measures one more dimension that is segment we'll drag it to colors okay fine then we'll give a uh, labels as well for this so this is fine perfect so format 
currency custom okay let's take this all right suppose uh, you have uh, let's say in case you have a unit and sales so you cannot take the format in a, like it's in rupees now so you cannot do it because even units will be converted to uh, rupees so in that case you need to create two calculated fields um okay so fine and now um okay uh, uh, let's change this to sales and we'll see that okay perfect i think this is coming fine and let's uh, just go to edit access and we'll change the name of this title name and let's put it as measures and uh, formatting things will do for the access that is axis we'll keep it in a bold and even for the headers here also so let's go to format again here for headers let's keep it in a bold fine uh, so i think we're done with this sheets and let's name this as like region sales profit sales profit and so next we'll move to the one more sheet that is sheet 2 let's sheet to the c88 and here what we'll do is we will take category levels let's do a trend chart right so let's drag order date first to the columns okay we're getting uh, multiple years so let's take one row data to the filter and filter out years and we'll take only 2017 and we'll convert this into month now fine okay fine so so now we have already created the measure calculations right so no need to create one more time so here we can drag the same thing and we'll get this output okay so if we change go parameter control and sales we create click on the parameter it's converting to profit so let's split this even we'll take uh, multiple lines here so that uh, for this we can drag um, Let's say we'll drag the region uh, categories here. So category to the colors. So right, let's increase a bit size of this. Okay, fine. So there's a um, lines. So get to formatting again, again, again. So grid lines. That is rows, right? So okay fine so we'll remove the grid lines also fine uh, next uh, we'll format over formatting things similar to what we've done in the previous sheets so measures let's keep like this and uh, fine so again go to format uh, axis we are created a bolt and here format uh, let's keep this pain no headers dates into abbreviation we'll convert to jan pep like this and we'll keep the bold and be careful suppose if that is the month uh, field which order date field you create drag to column and connect it to month suppose if this is in a discrete mode then it is it will start from january suppose sometime if it is in uh month is in a uh, let's say in a continuous mode in that case what will happen is even even if you select edit edit axis uh no let's say if you select uh, format of this and uh, if you for the axis suppose if you give a date in an abbreviation it will start from december so be careful uh, in that case so you can what you can do is you can make this into a discrete so if you make it to discrete, it'll start from January. Okay, fine. And entire view, put it in entire view. Then, so yeah, let's uh, wait on this. I think let's name this as 
category sales and profit okay fine so we are done with the two sheets now and uh, so what we need to do is we need to create one more parameter to control this these two sheets so let's create one more parameters that is named the charts so i'll give string again a list method so one is bar one is trend okay fine so okay so we created uh, so now we need to create one more calculated to control this chart calculated field right so yes so what i'm going to write here is uh, chart dot calc okay so what i'm going to take here uh, this charts fine but uh, okay where is it here let's say i'll drag it to the filters now so it's showing bar right so but this sheet is not bar so what i have to how to do is i have to go to show para uh, go to the charts parameter and show parameter control and then change here it to trend and now you can drag the chart calc to the filters and now you are getting the trends click on okay fine so suppose if you now change it to bar you're getting blank okay the similar way you need to go back to the uh, the sheet which you created earlier that uh, here also we need to do the same thing go to sh charts show parameter control then make it to bar and then drag the chart calculations select bar over here okay fine so even now if you check here if you change it to trend it's coming blank fine perfect so see here if you observe that we have created uh, only two sheets suppose uh, the combination is like let's say if there is a bar and then profit then uh, for that one uh, one sheet we need suppose in the normal way and suppose for even for if you bar create bar and sales there should be one more sheet is required right so like that there should be not two sheets there should be four sheets totally if you combine the chart measures and charts so uh, so but here we created only two sheets uh, using a uh, dynamically you can change the like uh, using the calculated field and parameter combinations you can direct dynamically change the measures in one chart okay fine so now what we'll do is we'll create a, a dashboard for this okay so i'll change the size to 1300 i think 1300 is enough uh, so take a vertical container here okay uh, so now um, drag the region sales profit okay again drag the category over here so now you can see it's hidden uh, the category sales because uh, so let's do one thing let's hide this title of the both uh, both sheets title fine so now what we can do we can do a layout container for this let's select a layout a container and we'll do a little bit formatting uh, let's go to layout and borders take the borders and even for the filters we'll take one container that is horizontal container okay so horizontal container we'll take and let's track the measure to this and charts again okay segments category okay right smooth so this too so for filter this much space is enough it's parameters 
okay let's give a again container a border for this select layout container layout a border it's a borders okay so for this now what we can do is we can create one headers and drag vertical container on top of this and drag the text so insert now take a measures parameters that is nothing but your profit and sales so uh give a performance will increase it to 18 okay so fine uh, small this bit okay fine so now let's see how our uh, the combination of parameters are working if i change to trend i'm able to see the trend line if i click on the sales i'm able to see the sales it's too simple one thing we'll drag a label for this also so labels okay let's do the formatting for this again currency custom simul part dashboards okay so bar you can see the bar and and if i click on sales and profit it's changing and if i click on trend again the sales and profit okay i'm able to change this yes so yes i think uh, that's it i hope this video is useful to you uh, thank you and thank you everyone